Cushing Academy has always been the hockey prep school in Worcester County. They have sent so many kids on to Division I colleges and so many as well, a big handful, on to Division I, not just Division I colleges, but on to the NHL as well. Tom Pody, of course, one of their illustrious alums from the Worcester area. T.J. Walsh from Shrewsbury. Matt Dillon from Shrewsbury as well, leading Cushing against Nobles today, Nobles and Greeno. And this is playoff action. Second period, 2-0 Cushy. Nobles with the breakaway. Joey Halstrom with the save. And then Halstrom hanging in there, makes a glove save and hangs on. Vilo Saraluma, sophomore from Finland, breaking in. Beautiful shift, and he is robbed. Later on, Ethan Roswell carries and feeds Mark McLaughlin. McLaughlin's going to St. Lawrence University. He scores. Cushing has a 3-0 lead. Still second period. Walsh takes the feed and rips. Blocked in front. More from the local guys. Dillon pouncing on the loose puck from his defensive position at the blue line. Backhander on. Save. Good play from Dillon. Dillon had a goal late in this game for Cushing. Third period. McLaughlin sniping one home. Walsh getting an assist. It is 5-0 Cushing. Then Ashton Fry. Great speed. Roof job. 6-0 Cushing in front. Cushing wins 9-0. They host Thayer Academy in the semis on Saturday. After the game, I caught up with T.J. Walsh, who spoke about winning the gold medal at the Youth Olympic Games in Norway just 10 days ago. It's a really cool experience, especially playing for your country and going overseas. So I think that was the biggest takeaway, just kind of putting on the USA jersey, and especially winning a gold medal was really, really special. Yeah, I think it, that made it even more special, you know, playing Canada. It's a rival game, and uh, just beating them like that was really, really cool. And I mean... All of us kind of just bought into the system, played as a team, and it was really, we were really fortunate to come out with a gold medal. Incredible memories for, uh, for T.J. Walsh and the entire Walsh family as well. They were all talking about it today, what a great trip it was, and the camaraderie T.J. talking about between the Olympic, U.S. Olympic skiers and snowboarders and the hockey team. Great stuff. All right, we're going to continue on the rink now and bring you to some high school playoff games, Algonquin and Hudson boys hockey. Second period, 1-0 Algonquin. Loose puck, Seahawks' Thomas Ackle with the shot. Thomas Devlin with the save. Then Hudson striking. Rocco Malloy walking in. He scores. And he dabs. The Hawks love it. They tied up at one apiece. Algonquin's Alex Petropalo with the shot. And Devlin with the save. Hudson firing on net. Mike Tassioni, glove save. Malloy drags, dangles, robbed by Tassioni. Great job getting the left pad out there. Hudson pressuring. Kyle Lally the bid. Tassioni the save. Down the other end, Algonquin on the rush. The shot on his save, but Ian Kosofsky roofing the backhander. Algonquin wins 2 1. They are moving on in the playoffs. Timory Malley and Worcester Academy hosting Canterbury. This is NEPSAC quarterfinals, Division II. First period entering stage left is Worcester Academy's Maura Mullaney with the shot right through the goalie's pads. She's a Worcester native, and it's 1-0 Hilltoppers early on. Worcester Academy's Carly Daly bringing the puck around the net. Fires to Grace Louder for the one-timer. Canterbury covers the puck. Little scrum in front from the Holden native. Worcester Academy's Molly Norton. With the shot on net, Canterbury with the save. Canterbury pressuring. Julia Pelletier with the save. Worcester Academies. Louder with the shot. Swatted away by Canterbury goalie. Right down the other end, Pelletier with a nice save off a beautiful shift. Great rush. Canterbury. Firing, deflected, crosses the goal line, ties the game with a minute to go in the first period. This one goes into double overtime. Worcester Academy wins it 4-3 in two overtimes. 11, now we go to high school hoops. West Boston and Bay Path, girls basketball. Marissa Hayes leading the Lions. First quarter, Hayes on the break to Ashley Smith for the layup. And then it's Emma O'Malley, the steal. O'Malley going coast to coast. Lions up by six. Bay Path 
Great pass to Sarah Wonkham. And she finishes. Nikel Waskovich with a three. And Bay Path is down by one. O'Malley in the paint. Colin Ford puts it to the floor. Nice play off the window for two. Kayla Morrison then for Bay Path. Going up and in. WB answering. Smith, the jumper. And Wes Bolson gets the win. 57 to 34 is your final. A lot of who's who around the hockey rink tonight up at Cushing. Kevin Stevens, former NHL great, played for the Pittsburgh Penguins. His son playing for the Noble School. And now when Thayer comes in, they're coached by Tony Amonti. Amonti's sons play for Thayer Academy. So you got all these who's who's. Bobby Orr's son was in the it's rink tonight as well. Yeah. It is. It was some great hockey tonight, though. A lot of fun to see. Good stuff. All right, thanks, okay. I Appreciate it. All right, for Kevin Shatt and Tim McCone, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.